Hey guys, welcome to the Christmas set. Oh, <laughs> we're doing the q and I don't know, I'm in a weird mood today. I filmed like two videos so far. I have to film two more for this channel and then I'm going to film two more for my other channel. Going on vacation is hard, you know, you have to like pre-film and plan. <laughs> it's like, it's too much work. Okay, um, so I'm pulling questions off of Ask FM. I'm also going to be filming immediately after this one a second q and I'm getting those questions from Snapchat, and I might in the next couple days film one more Q&A, um, just so there's a ton of footage, even though I'm going away to Vegas for three days and I'm prepping way too hard, but like, leave some questions at Ask FM or on Snapchat and I will try to do another one. So, First question is, would you rather go to a music festival, have fun and sleep in a tent, or stay home, watch TV, and have some tasty snacks? Um, the second one. Does that make me boring? Probably. Do I care? Like a little bit, but like not enough to not do it. Tips on vaginal orgasms, like hitting the G-spot, without clitoral stimulation. It obviously feels good when he hits the G-spot, but it's hard for me to finish that way. I would say add in clitoral stimulation because a lot of women, I think it's like 80% have trouble orgasming from vaginal penetration alone. Like just, just take a hand and rub your clit or tell him to do it because sometimes that's sexy too. If you're doing it from behind, he can like reach around and like play with your clit. Um, because like you don't have to not have clit play in order to finish vaginally, you know? Like just the two things, the G-spot and the clit, it could give you like a superpower orgasm, seriously. I just started taking birth control and I'm on my placebo days. My period has come, but it's so different from before taking them, like the end of a normal period. So I think you're just saying that it's lighter, which is totally normal. Getting on birth control, it helps regulate your period and um, it can, you know, it can make a period lighter, it can make it a little bit faster. Um, I remember, and I've been on birth control for so long, so I don't remember like specifically, but my period was all over the map, like all over the place. It would be like one week here, skip two weeks, one week here, because why not have it twice a month? Who cares? Um, and it would also be for like, you know, three days here, seven days here, and now it's like a steady, like it starts on a Tuesday, it ends on a Saturday, and it's heavy for two days, and then the other days it's like you could wear like a light tampon all day if you wanted to. Like, don't, but like you could. So it's totally normal for your period to be different, 100%. My girlfriend and I regularly have sex, but she gets so wet when we're having sex, I end up slipping out of her um, more often than not. Any tips on how to avoid this? You could get her on top. Um, you could try doggy style, although that is how a lot of guys slip out. But doggy style could be nice because you can kind of like grip her and like bring her to you. Um, you could try a missionary. There's just, just try different things. Like this is a good problem to have, you know what I mean? Can you do a video about staying motivated in school and balancing academics with health and a social life and hobbies? I think I have a video on that. If I can find it, I'll link it down below. Um, but just some general advice, schedule out your time. Like honestly, even if you're not a scheduled person, just having a rough idea of, okay, so, you know, these are all the assignments I have due, these are all the quizzes that I have coming up, these are the social events that I agreed to go to, and these are the nights where I know my brain's gonna want to explode, so I'm gonna take an hour for myself. How to get over a breakup. Whenever I go through a breakup, like with my most recent one, we didn't talk for a month at least, and it's always something that I think is such a good idea. Don't talk. Don't talk, don't check their social media. Like, you were with this person and they were part of your identity. You know, you hung out with this person, you probably talked to them every day about very intimate, personal things. So now you need some time to not only move on, but also to figure out who you are without this person in your life, you know? Because even if they're gonna still be in your life, it's gonna be in a different way. So I would take some time, a month, two months, however long you need, and just not talk, have no contact. And I know that's hard because some of you say like, you know, he's in our friend group or she's in my friend group. And that's the time where I would say, you know, try to hang out with your other friends or hang out with people one-on-one -on -one or, you know, just because you need that time to heal, you know? And sometimes you might just have to deal with it, but if you can, like, hang out with other people one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and then if you can be friends after that, that's great, you know? I'm friends with pretty much all of my exes because they're such important, wonderful people in my life at the time that we were dating. And that doesn't, like, just because we broke up, it doesn't mean that they're not important, wonderful people. They're just important and wonderful in different ways now, you know? So I always like to take the time to get some distance from it, to figure out who I am, um, 
and then hopefully come back and be able to like have a secure solid friendship with them. I'm pretty sure I have a video on breakups, I'll link it down below and if not I will make one. And last question, Ask FM is officially emptied out after this one. I just reconnected with my friend after a five year break, we've been friends for 11 years but she went down more of a drug and alcohol path and I didn't. I would like your advice on how I can balance her and my life because she's just like my sister, I just feel like I can't leave her. Okay. So I would say that you need to set up boundaries. Um, I can't tell if she's still down this drug and alcohol path, but you can completely be her friend without involving yourself in that. And if you ever feel like you're getting pulled down a road that you don't want to go into, you need to stop that. You need to let her know, I love you, but this is not a part of my life and I'm not going to let it be a part of my life. But that is it for this Q&A, guys. Make sure to thumbs up and subscribe down below. And also, Vlogmas is starting December 1st, um, but the first video might not go up until the 3rd or the 4th because I'm in Vegas. Um, I will continue to repeat that on basically every video until Vlogmas is actually here on just because I don't want people to be like you said Vlogmas was happening where's the video but like it'll it'll come okay um so anyways that'll happen and um I also on my channel page if you like click on my name I changed it so you can see like all of the last couple years of Vlogmas if you guys want to because I've heard some of you guys have been marathoning through those which is awesome um so I just put those in easy little playlists for you guys to check out and I think that's it. So <laughs> thanks for watching guys. I will see you very soon. Bye.